Hey, hi, boys and girls. Um, welcome back. I'm sorry that we haven't had too much uh, up on the YouTube channel, uh, but we've been extremely busy. Things are really uh, starting to pop here at Monroe. Um, we'll try and give you some updates later on as to what's happening here that you might be interested in. We are currently working on a couple three um, three wheeled vehicles, and um, uh, we've got uh, permission to talk at least about two of them. So um, later on, when the uh, prototype starts showing up, we'll give you a shot at seeing what's going on. Um, I want to tell you that um, uh, Dave Tracy over at Jalopnik came down. We had a little discussion between the Bronco versus the Jeep. Um, both Dave and I have Jeeps, and we kind of like move in that direction. Um, I had a Bronco a million years ago, and so we were trying to compare which this new Bronco, what it would be like versus uh, the Jeep Wrangler. We're also going to be doing a um, we're going to be doing a teardown analysis, not not a detailed analysis, but an analysis on a uh, on an Indian vehicle called the Renault Quid. Um, it's the high end called the Climber, and we're going to be looking at that in kind of the type of detail that will allow you to understand what's going on with product design. We'll be looking at a couple of closed projects. Uh, by that mean, what that means is that these are products that we've analyzed in the past, but we have some, some of the parts still around and we only keep the stuff that we think is really, really interesting. So we're going to give you a shot at having a look at some interesting things that we've seen in the past. We're also going to be looking at some smaller everyday kind of stuff. Um, things, like, um, things like washing machines and refrigerators. We have quite a number of uh, things that we do like that, and you'll get a chance to see how what's inside, if you like, and how how they work. I'd like to also thank you for the support that you've uh, that you've uh, brought to us. Um, I think that um, I think that it's great that you could um, help us out with uh, with buying knickknacks and things like that. Um, I also need to have um, um, a little conversation. That is that uh, Monroe and Associates is not, I repeat, is not paid by Tesla to say or do or receive anything that we have. Okay? I know that uh, some people are saying things like that. They don't know what they're talking about. I have to try and defend myself periodically, and this is it. So I can tell you a little something right now that uh, the Tesla haters, or the, basically the people that are trying to drive me out of business, are saying that, uh, that Tesla would never tell you. So this is part of the octo valve. And what we've noticed is we had one of our, uh, one of our customers come in with a brand new Tesla, brand new. It was built about one month ago, and we noticed that um, their product, the product that you're seeing here, the aluminum, the aluminum super, um, uh, super manifold, their product had 13 design changes associated with it. 13. I'm going to tell you, I couldn't get one design change through in a year when I was at Ford Motor Company. They did 13 in three months. That's why they're kicking some serious butt. Another thing that we found was when we got our vehicle, there was, no, there was no shroud around the compressor. Their vehicle had an excellent design for a shroud, and it looked spectacular. Now, am I saying things that, uh, that Tesla told me to tell you? I don't think so. I think that Tesla gets kind of annoyed periodically when I tell you that, oh yeah, that casting over there has magic inside of it. Oh yeah, this casting over here, it has a totally different kind of aluminum. And they can make 13 design changes in less than three months. People don't like to really spread that around. Monroe Associates and myself as the number one associate, we are in this strictly for the right reasons. I am not bought by anyone. No one in this company is bought by anyone. We're a consulting house that tells the truth all the time, good, bad, or ugly. And i just starting to find out about this. It's all crap. Don't believe any of it. 
and and, uh, <laughs> and now I'll calm down and say thank you very much for viewing, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you so much.